Okay, Paso Taurus, thanks for your patience. If you have been waiting, here's your weekly tarot reading. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I do associate Four of Pentacles with Taurus, although they have it as uh, a Capricorn card and the Hermetic, Four of Pentacles, Cloth of the Oros. It's a very stubborn energy, so I think Taurus and Four, the fourth month, April, which Taurus season begins in late April. My dad's birthday is April 26th. The Emperor. Big King Daddy. Chariot El Garo. Seven of Cups. Venus and Scorpio. Siete de Copas. Seven of Swords, it the Espadas. Justice, La Justicia. Dealing with a memory that never forgets. You better, you bet. The Who. This is a multifaceted relationship. You have this person on a pedestal. You are deeply, devoutly attached, hopelessly devoted to you, Olivia Newton-John. Olivia Newton-John was a Libra. I'm seeing a really dynamic natal chart for this person. They could have Sun and Libra, Pisces rising, Moon and Cancer. You dream of this person, you think of this person. This person is pretty much your ideal. At least physically. They are your physical ideal, but they are driving you crazy. Why are they driving you crazy? Are they playing games? Are they uh, hot and cold? Are they displaying ambivalence? Do you feel like it's not balanced? You're giving and giving. You're more invested than they are. That's what I'm picking up. Please clarify Four of Pentacles over Seven of Cups. One card. Los Enamorados. You are definitely romanticizing the hell out of this relationship. I see you making a lot of playlists. You're listening to a lot of songs that remind you of this person. It looks like you're absolutely smitten. Please clarify the Empress over Seven of Swords, one card. I am running the last discount of 2022. Seven of Wands, Seven of Bastos. The regular price for my readings is seventy-five dollars. 
patrons at Patreon always receive the discount at $50, but for the duration of Virgo season, I'm offering a $25 discount. You'll get an approximately 15, 20 minute personal video unlisted. I put all the information in each and every description box and I still get questions sometimes or I'll send a link to the unlisted video to a client and they'll say, I hope this is private. I hope no one else can see this. Yeah. Please clarify the chariot over justice one card. The foolish man, El Loco. You may feel foolish. You may feel like you're giving and you're giving and this person is just taking and they're being very cool, they're being very uh, aloof, very emotionally detached. And that's part of the appeal because let's be honest, a lot of us, especially if we come from really dysfunctional backgrounds, um, if we were abandoned by a parent in our childhood, we want to have to work for it. If someone just hands us their heart on a silver platter, that tends to turn us off. So that's definitely part of the appeal. When someone's displaying ambivalence, when they're being emotionally unavailable, um, I mean, just looking at these cards, I would say you definitely have this person on a pedestal. And whenever you have someone on a pedestal, you are operating at a deficit. I've been there numerous times. It's never a good idea. Because it creates this, this power struggle, this imbalance. I mean, I've done my time. I'm 49. I turned 50 in February. I've done that to death and no moss. Uh, where I'm jumping through hoops of fire trying to convince someone that being in a relationship with me is a really good idea. I mean, I just don't have time for it. Okay. Six more cards for Taurus. Two of Swords, those they have spotted. Six of Wands, says the Bastos. The Devil, El Diablo. Judgment, El Juicio. Seven of Swords, say that they have spotted us. Eight of Wands, I call that the sex card. Ocho de Bastos. They're all sex cards in this deck, but. Um, I see a lot of sexting. But I'm not seeing, again, I'm not seeing emotional availability. I'm not seeing consistency. Um, I don't see in-depth conversations. This person probably has a lot of lust for you, but they are being emotionally unavailable. How many times can I say that? 
this is not someone you could contact if you were going through something severe in your life. If you had just lost someone to death, uh, if you were sick, if you needed a hand to hold, a shoulder to cry on, understanding, compassion, you're not going to get that from this person. Um, they contact you when it's convenient for them. That's what I'm getting. The fire dominates. Three out of six. Six of wands, eight of wands, judgment, Sagittarius. Um, as I often say, here and at Siren Tarot and in my client readings, I don't give much credence to the labels. I feel like the labels are overused. Soulmates, high-level soulmates, divine counterparts, twin flames, karmics. This looks very karmic to me. And by karmic, I mean there are lessons to be learned. There are lessons to be learned in any relationship, of course, but heavy, intense lessons, lessons that don't feel that great. I don't see the easy, sweet harmony that I would associate with soulmates. I'm seeing a lack of compatibility. I'm seeing a lack of understanding. So you get to decide how long you want to stay in this, how long you want to participate. That's what I see for Taurus. That's what I have. Hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.